Okay. Hi, Sid. Hi, Coco. <laughs> Good evening. Good night. <laughs> What's going on? We have some exciting news today, Sid. What's the news? Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. Bitcoin yeah. is going crazy. You know, I think it, we will see 60K very soon. Mm. I think before halving. Yes. And after that, I think it can easily go to 90K. Wow. Before before May or at the first mm -hmm. week of May. By the way, not a financial advice. Never this financial is my, advice for you. Yeah, this is just my <laughs> hope. Absolutely, yeah. What's driving the market up at the moment? So there are a few factors. First of all, mm -hmm. the biggest one, which is that this is a bull year. So mm -hmm. it was expected to have a bull market this year. Second, BlackRock's ETF and Vanguard's ETF. And all. I think I don't even know if Vanguard have an ETF. Anyway, the big ETFs which got approved, we were expecting to see big traffic coming in. So it was expected one of those things. Other thing is a lot of countries are ditching US dollars. Yes. Because of BRICS, mm -hmm. and people are realizing if they are ditching US dollar, other currencies are the same fiat thing, right? So mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. Bitcoin is the best hedge right now. I think gold is still, mm -hmm. but you can't make profit in gold. It's just slowly mm -hmm. rise up. It's just like a good asset to have. If you have yeah. a lot of money and you want to save something, you buy gold. But if you want to mm -hmm. trade and make money, I think the best place to do is bitcoin mm, or absolutely. stocks but uh, stocks are not my cup mm -hmm. of tea i don't like yeah. stocks yeah i'm the same i doubled in stocks and it hasn't really fulfilled me the yeah it. because stocks do stocks are fine i'm not hating on that but that's mm. not what i like i like crypto because the volatility is really good so you absolutely. can easily buy and sell every day and mm. make profit or if, yeah. you, if it goes down, you can still dollar cost average and make profit of it because mm -hmm. it's very volatile. So I like the volatility of mm -hmm. Bitcoin, which is like weird to say, but this is the fact because a lot of people say Bitcoin is not a good asset because it's volatile. But I'm just saying this is why mm -hmm. it's amazing because its yeah. price is going $5,000 up mm -hmm. one day, 4000 coming down, Absolutely. then 5000 up. Yeah. The ability to make big money. Yeah. Yeah, so implied, yeah, death. absolutely. Um, it's in, so interesting because I had someone I never I've never bought gold, but I had someone tell me they had bought physical gold and it has to be stored in a physical location, which well, costs quite a lot of money. The, the whole point of buying gold is buy the physical one. Mm -hmm. Why are you buying a digital gold? That's stupid. Yeah. The whole point of buying gold is to have your own mm -hmm. custody of and especially for a woman, it's really good because you can buy gold as a jewelry, right? You can mm -hmm, wear absolutely. it. Absolutely, yeah. And it's still your asset, so you can show it off. But I don't know if it's a great idea because you can get mugged. <laughs> depends where you live, Sid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, depends where you live. <laughs> but if you're living in New York and Chicago, that's not a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Especially if you're catching the subway system. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, tell me what's been going on this week in conspiracy theories. Oh, actually, a lot. I don't know. Because, first of all, I don't think there is any conspiracy anymore because it's just mm -hmm. the news. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for 2024. <laughs> because, like, all the conspiracies are actually true now. Yeah. The whole thing. Anyway, the one big news is uh, UK and Japan declared mm -hmm. re recession mm -hmm. or they're going through a recession so that's yeah. one of the factor which is helping bitcoin because in recession it's a good asset to hold mm -hmm. which is weird right because two major countries are going in recession anyway so the real story is i woke up today open twitter check my explore tab antarctica was trending i was like oh i love antarctica <laughs> So I opened it. <laughs> the news was so funny that. <laughs> so there is people need to 
realize there is a Antarctica treaty oh, where you, yeah there is a treaty that nobody can own that land yes I that so that's I, did, a, I didn't know yes. it was a treaty though I thought it was it's a treaty government yeah. owned okay so no one no country can own it so Iran decided <laughs> to go <laughs> plant a flag on the <laughs> Antarctica they claimed it of their own not the full Antarctica but the part of Antarctica I know they are just fucking with the world Yes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a rebellious move. Yeah. Why, what was the motivation behind doing that? Uh, so basically, that? it's just conspiracy in the sense because a lot of countries have their bases there. So what they did, they transferred their navy over there. They mm. plant a flag for their base and they are saying that they, that will be a military base and their scientific research center mm -hmm. we already have so many countries who have their That's scientific true. research center and military bases so i think this is the part of that the, the crazy part is they did this in this season mm. because this is the <clears throat> end of the summer i guess right, mm. right for you guys uh yeah it is yeah and usually countries are going out of antarctica in this era like all the most of the bases they just leave antarctica in this time in february so it's like december january and february is the place where they stay and then they leave off and then they mm -hmm. come back next uh, next summer so they just went there now so it's the time when nobody like everyone mm -hmm. is leaving and they just went there so and what the world can do, right? They are not going to fight yeah. a battle over that. Also, it's, it's an unclaimed land, so they can have their thing. It's do just it like they, want, yeah. they just want to fuck around and they created the whole story out of it. I loved it. I said, <laughs> yeah. uh, how does one get to Antarctica? Obviously, you fly in, but it's a special plane, right? No, no, yeah, they have like planes over there from New Zealand, but there mm -hmm. are also ships go there from. Oh yeah, because they go on like cruises and things. Yeah, so they, you can just send your ships. So mm -hmm. and the thing with the ship is like they can travel for a very long period of time. Mm, absolutely, yeah. Right, because with the plane you have to refuel, very you have limited. to land. Mm -hmm. But I think. For Navy ships, they can carry their own fuel for a long time and they can go. Yeah, absolutely. Would you go to Antarctica, Sid? This is the whole plan. This is why I'm saving so much money, <laughs> not having a wife or kids. That's <laughs> my dream destination. <laughs> That's like, I don't go to holidays on vacation to anywhere because I'm saving money so I can... <laughs> Have few million dollars to go and to sits off to Antarctica. It's yeah. gonna go a long way, Sid, because I don't think there's shops there. <laughs> oh, this is why I need millions of dollars, right? Because I'm planning to go there for a while. Okay, everyone supports uh, because I don't like to go to the tourist place, which is very cheap, right? Mm -hmm. I can still go there, but that's not what I want to do. I yeah. want to go to if I'm going to Antarctica, I'm gonna explore the whole Antarctica. So mm -hmm. I'm going to take team and probably get a ship and stuff. Wow, Sid, this plan so is crazy. No, so, so my original plan is to <clears throat> record a documentary, mm -hmm. a travel documentary. So first, I will go to North Pole, which is in North Pole, right? Antarctica mm -hmm. is South Pole and North mm -hmm. Pole is between Canada and Greenland or Iceland. It's very close to Canada. Mm -hmm. I live in Canada, so I can drove yeah. Yeah. all the way. It's not easy. It's really hard, okay. hard journey too. Yeah. It's very cold over there. But yeah, it's still like compared easy to going to Antarctica. Yeah, yeah, very easy. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can just drive over there. So mm -hmm. I'll take. So my plan is to assemble the team of a lot of vid like cinematographers, mm -hmm. videographers, like bloggers who record good videos. Mm -hmm. Make a team, go there, explore the whole way to North Pole. Mm -hmm. It will be a guide for the future people. Like, this is the route you can do. And nobody goes there anyway. So yeah, wow. To show the culture, what's going on. It's like, I want to do a world-class documentary. Like, mm -hmm. which can 
which is like something you can see on Netflix or Discovery or National Geographic. I mean, that kind of level, right? Because I have a mm -hmm. background in film, of course, yeah, films yeah, and absolutely. production of it. So, go to North, um, uh, sorry, North Pole from there. Go mm -hmm. to Greenland and Iceland. Yeah. Okay. So that will be the season two. So season mm -hmm. will season one will be North Pole. Season two will be. Uh, Greenland and Iceland, and then the season three will be Antarctica, which will be the most dangerous one. It so, sounds like it's going to be like a bit of a dark tourism documentary. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but the f Antarctica is important. I just don't want to go to Antarctica. I want to, you know, create a plot before, like, why I'm going. So I want to mm. explore uh, the main area, which are easily accessible, Greenland, Iceland, and, mm -hmm. and North Pole. With South Pole... It's very important because a lot of conspiracies are mm. f originating from Antarctica. Absolutely. Like flat earth theory, they have their eyes all there. <laughs> I want to go and disprove it once and for all. <laughs> that there is no ice wall. If there is ice wall, I will show it. But I know for sure there is no ice wall. <laughs> and they say there is like a hollow earth entrance over there. Mm. I want to explore every corner of antarctica <laughs> so it's gonna be as, so cold sid yeah i love cold uh, this the, the thing is i was born in a very very hot country yes so i hate hot i love snow i love this is why yeah. i love canada it's so cold here yeah, so, I, it's so funny because I'm the opposite. I was born in New Zealand, but now I live here and it is stinking hot and I love it. <laughs> that's what happened. The people who are born in cold countries, they love hot weather. Yes. But I, I'm not like, I wasn't born in a bad, like a normal hot country. I was born in a very hot place. Like you're sweating. The average temperature is 45 degrees. Wow, like, that's really hot, Sid. Yeah, it's so, so bad. So anyway, so I love winter. I love snow. So mm -hmm. that is something which can, which, well, it's going to be like, I will be covering and everything. It will be cold, but it's still fun. But the thing with Antarctica is like, I want to disprove, first of all, the ice wall. Yes. Try to find the hole to the hollow, <laughs> <laughs> which is not there, but probably maybe there is. Oh, this is so... I, flat Earth is out, but everything else is possible that there is like an entrance to the center of the Earth. There is like mm -hmm. a, so many theories. I don't believe in that, but if there is something, I'll find something. What I am <clears throat> very much excited about is the Admiral Byrd's interview that he said there is like vast unexplored land yeah, in wow. Antarctica, which have a lot of things. And his whole thing that aliens are there which is so admiral bird was people if they don't know he was a u.s admiral u.s mm -hmm. navy admiral mm -hmm. he was the first person who went there on expedition after world war ii mm -hmm. for six month expedition but they returned in two months and they really? took the yeah so they took the whole navy fleet of battleships mm -hmm. for some reason and he went there, he came back. After that, his son or his nephew found his diary where he wrote, it's an alleged story, but mm -hmm. it says that they found that in his diary that he was flying over Antarctica, a UF, and as they were flying, they lost the control of the plane. plane was flying its by itself. And then it landed on an airstrip in Antarctica and that was not snowy area it was like a regular f tropical area of Antarctica and there he met aliens who signed a treaty with him that you are not allowed to come in this area and you can stay at the borders but mm -hmm. you cannot own Antarctica and that's the whole concept behind the Antarctica treaty that no country will be able to claim that land and that's they say that this is their pact between admiral bull admiral bird and mm. the aliens wow 
Yeah, aliens, and they say are the reptilians. Yes. Okay. Who are who are from there too? Mm. This is where their base is. So, yeah, I definitely want to go there. I know that you can, as an individual, they don't stop you to go. So you can still go, but they don't provide any support. Yeah. So if you get stuck or you fall down a hole, yeah, nobody's yeah. coming to help yeah. you. So you. Yeah, yeah need to have a lot of money to have your own chopper yeah. your own ship and stuff mm -hmm. so this is the plan to go and visit the whole thing i think we should set up a go fund it fund me get no, some yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm not going by the way so no one fund that part of the trip it is way too fucking cold <laughs> no but fund me anyway i'm gonna go i go. my target is five million dollars <laughs> mm-hmm I have five thousand dollars right now. <laughs> Sid, Bitcoin's gonna gonna ruin. We're gonna get you there. I'm yeah. literally gonna get you set up a GoFundMe after this and put in the link below. Yeah, that's the whole plan. But it will be, and then you know, <clears throat> it's not like I need five million dollar initially. So this is why mm -hmm. one thing I'm doing to do season season wise. So yes. season one, I will go. I'll take photos of Nor North Pole try to mint them as NFTs, try to make oh, money. Oh, that's cool, yes. And season one is complete. There is a chance that I can get a sponsor for the season two mm -hmm. because the more you popular you are, the more attention you get, then you get a sponsor. And then for the season three, by the season three, I'll be come like more popular to so get more funding to go It'll to the Kardashian by then. You Ugh, I don't... <laughs> 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 but, yeah, this is the point. Like, I... This, this is the enough kind of money I need. Also, mm -hmm. I need to have like $2 million at least saved in my account because when I will come back, I won't be able to work for a company. So I need to have some money for Oh, myself. yeah. No, no, touch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, also, I'll get rusty from my technical skills, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Everything will move so fast. Yeah. So that's why, like, if, because that's like a, at least two year project. Hmm. At least, probably longer, Sid. So filming. basically, three years, right? One yeah. year per season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think three years. But I can like combine it, right? So if I do mm -hmm. season one in our winter, which is starting from October, mm -hmm. go to North Pole, then do the season two in summer, mm -hmm. and then in December do the season three. So, but that's very congested so probably it will be at least two years mm. or three years depending on the money yeah yeah absolutely i'm excited Sid. this is gonna happen I'm yeah gonna so this is my plan <laughs> yeah this uh, this is my plan but the first two are easy the mm -hmm. whole thing is antarctica because there's so yeah, much yeah. shit coming out of there i want to go and either prove it or disprove it one mm -hmm. thing i know there is no ice wall because earth is not flat you are stupid if you believe Earth is flat. <laughs> what if you say, okay, I'm thinking of this, there's like a Radiohead film clip where um, this guy is walking around and he's telling people something and whatever he tells them, like it never discloses it, they lay down on the ground and mm -hmm. everyone's like, why are you lying on the ground? But when this guy speaks to you, you have a reason to lie on the ground. I feel like that's going to be you in Antarctica. Like you're going to see something that you can't explain to the rest of us. And then yeah, you're gonna but, have to do something, Sid. No, I, I'll. I'm always honest, right? I know, With but everything. there's probably a reason why you can't disclose. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's like no, not even you like know, you're not told to disclose. Like, there's something in the understanding that you cannot disclose, and you're gonna yeah. act a certain way, Sid. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> well, that will be a situation for the people who have stuff to lose. Yeah. Or who it's care enough about the world? Yeah. I have nothing to lose. <laughs> also, I don't give a shit about others. So, yeah. if there is something, for example, Tucker Carlson was saying that some UFO stuff is so horrific that I cannot disclose it. It will scare people. I am not that person. I will disclose mm -hmm. it because I, I think people have a right to know if they are scared. I don't give a fuck. They that was that was so odd. Can I just say something about that? He said yeah. it was so terrible he didn't want to disclose it to his partner. Like, is your partner an infant? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? If your yeah. partner is an adult 
woman with sensibility, you would tell her if it's this all important information because she has a right to know and react to it how she sees fit. Also, it's better to know what's going on than to be to stay ignorant. Absolutely. But the thing with him is the the whole story behind is. It is bad, but it's not that bad either. I know what he was referring to. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I don't know if he knows something more. But or mm-hmm. the idea is... So there is this guy. His name was Louis Elizondo. Mm-hmm. He was the chairman, chairman of ATIP program, which was a U.S.-sanctioned UFO study program, basically. Mm-hmm. So he collected a lot of proof and then he was called by a ge- general and he was asked to leave this alone. And he said, why? Because I'm gathering the proof and it's all there. Why you want me to leave it alone? He said, this is something you don't understand and you might say something stupid. He said, he, re- he thought that this is might be U.S. technology, secret technology, mm-hmm. and they didn't want to disclose. So he said, you okay, know. if it's your technology then that's fine. If I will keep the U.S. secret. Then the gen- general said, no, this is not our technology, but these are demons. And we don't want to mess with these demons. Mm-hmm. And then he said, okay. Then he came out and he said that in an interview multiple times about this thing, the general told him that these are demons. And if they are demons, we should know that they are demons. So we are prepared for it. Also, I don't think they are demons will fly in UFO. They are aliens. And maybe people back in the day can fuse demons with the aliens because like aliens look like demons, right? So Sure, the eyes and yeah. 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 So yeah. people can get scared and so maybe demons were alien. <clears throat> or they are bad bad aliens. Whatever the truth is, people have a right to know. The other darker part of that theory is that the the one god, like Abrahamic religion, mm-hmm. was started by these aliens. Mm-hmm. So they were planned because they like to play with humans. This is like their playground. Mm-hmm. So they created a Jew group, a Muslim group. Sure. Yeah. And created conflicted mm-hmm. narratives around them to make mm-hmm. them fight. And when they fight, they release negative energy and I think they feed on that energy. Mm. Because whenever these religions fight, because these are the only three religions which fight, right? Christianity, Absolutely, Muslims, yeah. and Judaism. Yeah. They are fighting. Yeah. So this is what, like, they say that all these religions are controlled by these aliens mm. or demons. Mm-hmm. Because when they say alien, they don't mean plan. Most of the time, they mean interdimensional aliens, not mm. the interplanetary aliens. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so they yeah. can fo- easily fall in the category of demons. So they said they are feeding the wrong information and putting people each against each other. They go mm-hmm. to war and negative energy is what they eat or what they like or they th- thrive on that. To be honest, Sid, like the <laughs> this cracks me up because as you know, I do not abide by religion or a yeah. um, belief system and I sort of think it's like a fragile human ego that would be so attached to a belief system to find out that it wasn't real that they wouldn't be able to talk about it because <laughs> honestly if I had devoted my life to Catholicism Judaism Islam and I found out tomorrow that it's a bunch of bullshit I would want to know number one and I would want to tell everyone <laughs> no, but it's impossible to prove it to the believers that what they believe is bullshit. Absolutely. And then once something comes out, they're going to be so ass hurt that it did. No, they won't. They will call it a demon. Oh, they'll and say they, it's a test. It's a test. Okay. It's, yeah. And this is like the agents of Satan trying to mm, create. This challenge their faith. This is what I'm saying. It's impossible to convince a believer that their belief is bullshit. Yeah. Sure. And to be honest... Aliens come out and say that I won't believe them either, because I will think there's something big going on, and they why will they say that shit, right? So yeah. there is no way to disprove religion, like there is no way to yeah. disprove God. Yeah, Same way, there not. is no way to prove God, but also there is no way to disprove God. Yeah, it's just it's ridiculous to war over religious yeah. belief. 
exactly See but and we are going to see a world war very soon <laughs> oh i'm so done with the, that like bring the no, aliens in no, <laughs> bring yeah, the I demon love... aliens <laughs> i do yeah. yeah no but russia everything is aligning this is what mm. intrigued me that the way tucker carlson was saying and all those people were saying that we don't control anything. Something else is controlling it, mm-hmm. and they we all are chess pieces, and somebody else is moving it. Mm-hmm. So the way th- things are aligning, it looks like it's not something they are doing it by will. It's just like someone else is putting them there mm-hmm. to destroy something or just to have fun, right? Yeah, a test. A test. Test of waters. Yeah, but there's this ideal that. Uh, maybe yeah. someone can plant a seed in that collective consciousness and then people react a certain way because if you're an attached to a belief system, you are promoted to do certain things, right? So, yeah, yeah I'm down with it. I don't, I honestly, though, I don't believe there's like good and evil aliens. I think there's probably just ambivalent beings that are testing us. No, Also, if there is evil, there is good. This is yeah, what I believe. Agreed. If you can prove one thing, I can easily prove other things. I totally am. Yeah, that. if a demon come in front of me, I won't be scared because that will be proving that, okay, evil exists. So probably mm-hmm. if there is a demon, there will be an angel as well. Who can and what about just like nonchalant beings, like the in the be- between of both? Yeah. And like, what are... about us? Do you know what I mean? As like superhuman beings, because we're not like I think you and I are not. We're not good side. We're not evil side. We're kind of just like let's see how this plays out. Yeah, yeah. If I have superpower, like yeah. I will be a being like that with my mind. Mm-hmm. I'll be fucking around just to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. I create false <laughs> narratives. Just <laughs> exactly you know, test yeah. Yeah. all the all the organized religion. If I'm a yeah. supernatural being, I'm going to test the shit out of that. So it was strapping. <laughs> yeah. Also, the problem with humans is we think yeah. we are the only intelligent, creature, yeah. like creatures mm-hmm. in the whole universe. Yes, absolutely. But that's stupid. We are nobody, and we're we are very young as well. Mm. Universe is what. So or, or, or originally they used to think that the ori- universe was 13.6 years old, mm-hmm. billion years old. But then new theory is coming out is 27 billion years old. So wow. let's just say, it, yeah. So let's just say it's 13.6 billion o- years old. Humanity mm-hmm. is only 200,000 years old, according wow. to yeah, the scientific okay. data. We are nothing. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, like the modern human with, Writing power is only 10,000 years old or 20,000 so years old. So yeah, so we are young. super young. Like you said the other day, like literally humans were riding around on horses only like 100 years ago. And now we're in fucking air, yeah. in planes, flying. <laughs> like we are a young race. Like as human beings, we have not existed for long at all. At all. So to think that there can't be a very powerful civilization Mm -hmm. who is so powerful that we are not able to see them but they are able to see us and they're just playing with us this is the whole theory of panspermia right that uh, the life came from the space to earth Mm -hmm. earth was just a planet without life and somebody seeded it so yeah that's like panspermia is like the most common theory right now Mm -hmm that how life is started that a lot of people think that they that just come randomly in asteroids mm-hmm. but then there is also a part of it is like it was sent here deliberately by another civilization to seed this planet and mm-hmm. see what happened and they are monitoring how their seed is evolving Consider the fact that maybe like this civilization, maybe they started out where we are and so they recreated their evolution. Yeah, and to be honest, this. yeah, and to be honest, like for example, we don't we don't destroy our civilization and we keep going and increasing. So imagine humanity thousand years ago. Hmm. It'd be very advanced. Oh, insane. If like we say, if you rode a horse 
a hundred years ago and now you're in a plane? Why? Yeah, you own a plane. <laughs> Basically, most of the people own private planes. Now. We're going to become planes. <laughs> the plane's going to yeah. be built in. <laughs> so we will find an empty planet which is suitable for life and we're going to seed it and then we're going to watch it. And then we are um, like, they are the, the mothership and then we're the in between and then we do it again. It's like the re repetition of evolution. Exactly. Yeah. And then we want to, to be honest, we want to experiment like how life ex started. Maybe they are trying to find their own origin. So that's why yeah. they started it. I think that's a valid argument, Sid. I feel like there's validity there. Yeah. And so panspermia what? is true. <laughs> But yeah. panspermia happened a long time ago, mm. like billion, two, three billion years ago. Suddenly, yeah. the reason for it, there was no life. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, after a certain period, which is called panspermia, life emerges everywhere. And mm -hmm. they have no question because technically it should be slow, gra gradual increase, right? It wasn't mm -hmm. a gradual increase. It was like... Boom, earth is full with life. Yeah. yeah. So that's why the only question is not the question, the only answer they have is like maybe it came from the above. I like this. I feel like they are ambivalent and they are watching and they're interested. And we will be with our little ant farm as well. Same, same, yeah. But different. Yeah. We are the ant farm and they're watching us. Yeah, and then there's an ant farm for them as well. They're part of an ant farm. Yeah, and then it's like a loop keep going. They yeah. were <laughs> in farm of someone else. and then <laughs> <there is. laughs> I like this. It's like a Russian doll set. It's never ending. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a psychedelic thought. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sid, we're out of time. Thank you. All right. Hey, I will talk to you very shortly and we're going to set up a GoFundMe for six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fund me. Fun, <laughs> Bye. Bye.